Alright, what's up y'all? Preston Smiles here. If you're new to the tribe, new to the Love's Voice family, go ahead and click that red subscribe button if you're on YouTube, if you're on Facebook. Strap in, it's time to get it. Today's transmission is the number one thing to do before you go through a breakup. Now, I'm gonna preface all this by saying that I have been through many breakups and I just got through going through a conversation uh, with a coaching client who is in the midst of a divorce and what was coming up from him was this sort of should I keep trying and is it that's who she is and I am who I am and we're never going to be different and so therefore should I just run away walk away right now and the thing that I told him, which I'm going to tell you, is the number one thing you could do before you go through a breakup. A breakup from a job, a breakup from a family member, a breakup from a roommate, a breakup from a lover. This applies to all of those. And that is to give 120%. I told him to date his way into a divorce. I told him to woo her and date her and give her everything he has as they go through a conscious uncoupling. Why? Because this particular gentleman has children and so there's two reasons why. One, he has kids and I said to him, you want to be able to look your kids in the eyes when they're 15, 20, 30 years old and say, you know what? Your mom and I came together to create you. Your mom and I came together to uh, reflect each other's wounds and triggers and then grow together and then we ended up growing apart. But in that process, I gave your mother everything I possibly could and to the very end. As opposed to being at war and glorified roommates and then going through a nasty divorce or breakup where neither person really likes each other and they forget about all the love, all the memories that brought them into that divine union in the first place. And then the second part for why this is very important is because we do nothing compartmentalized, right? So the, the logical mind will have you say, well, why would I date my way out of this if I know it's over? Why would I give my all to this person if the belief is, is that it is over. And my answer to that is because the universe is not done with you. Because there is a high chance that you are going to date someone else. There is a strong possibility that you're going to meet another person. And we don't just go from one toxic relationship and jump into another relationship and then all of a sudden our stuff is healed. You see, what you want to do is before you leave this relationship, you want to heal that. You want to love that person and yourself into a space where you're vibing higher, right? Because everything is energy. And if you raise your vibration as it pertains to relationships, then when you enter into the next relationship, A, you're coming in, you're riding a wave of energy that is clean. B, you're coming in with lessons. You're coming in with medicine. You're coming in with a deeper understanding of what works and what does not work for you. As opposed to coming in from fear or scarcity or you know these ideas about women or men or whatever else was in the space for you that had you uh, break up in the first place. So it's highly important. Guys, I'm gonna repeat this. The number one thing you could do when going through a breakup is to bring a deep awareness to what you brought to the table, to what your wounds and triggers and uh, limiting beliefs and core wounds that had that relationship not work in the first place. And here's the thing to understand, guys. It wasn't that the relationship didn't work. Everything on our planet comes to an end. This house that I'm at, our, our new place, this will be trash someday. Me. As much as I would love to live forever, this skin suit will come to an end. Everything comes to an end. It would be ideal for it to be when we're all 142 and we were sleeping next to each other and we die in our sleep together, but it doesn't always happen that way. Sometimes relationships just end because they have run their course. Reason, season, lifetime. Most of us get into relationships and we only want lifetime. But everything in nature, including these plants, shows us that there are seasons for everything. And sometimes people come in for a reason. 
to shake you up, to remind you of your truth. And they remind you sometimes through a way in which it is not pretty. It doesn't feel good on the surface, but hindsight is 2020, and I'm asking you to, to take a bird's eye view and, and have that hindsight now, in this now moment, see that this was cleverly put together by, by whatever you believe the creator is that is supporting you along your journey. You're here for evolution. And what better way to evolve than to have contrast? What better way to evolve than to have someone come into our space that reflects all of the wounds and stories that have not been supporting us throughout our years? And so it's easier a lot of times in our society to blame them than it is to take to truly look at oneself and say, how did I create this? Where was I not willing to go? Where was I playing small? Remember, the only thing missing from any situation is what you're not giving. So I ask you and remind you that if you are going through a challenging time, a breakup right now, I challenge you to give 120%. Give yourself three more months, five more months, six more months of pure, I'm gonna give everything I absolutely have. I guarantee you that when you fill your cup in that way, the overflow will be abundant. <sighs> blessings and blessings. For those of you who are new to my tribe, new to the Love's Voice family, if you're on YouTube, I ask that you click subscribe. If you're on Facebook or YouTube, I ask that you share this message if it resonated with you or tag somebody or send it to somebody who you believe this could support them. I love you so much. I am, we are, hashtag Love's Voice is going down in a beautiful major way. Live love, give love, be love.